Welcome to the ACR Electronics C406, B406, and G406 series programming module. From here on, these will be referred to only as C, B, and G. Required equipment. You'll need a programmer, part number A3-06-2824, a programming cable, part number 611-0110, and a C, B, or G series ELT for programming. Before we begin, you will come across the following terms. 24-bit address, which can be broken down further into octal address and hex address, the cost pass SARSET number, or TAC, aircraft operator. Let's do tell what these are and their correct use. ICAO 24-bit address and aircraft operator. ICAO 24-bit address. All aircraft equipped with a MODES transponder is issued an ICAO 24-bit address code. This can be either an octal address or hex address. They are one and the same, but displayed differently. Meaning, if you have an octal address, you can't convert it into a hex address, and vice versa. Octal address. This is an eight-digit code, numeric only, consisting of zero through seven. Hex address, six digit alphanumeric code, number zero through nine, and A through F. Aircraft operator. The aircraft operator is a three digit code issued to the airlines. This option is only to be used if the customer requests it and can provide the three digit code and a four digit serial number. Cost pass SARSET number or TAC. Every model of ELT is issued a cost pass SARSET number. This is also known as a type approval certificate. However, each TAC number has a limited amount of serial numbers permissible. Once that limit is reached, an additional TAC number must be issued. This can be identified on the ELT by viewing the serial number. You will see that the serial number is either five digits or eight digits with a dash in the middle. Five digits. If your ELT serial number is five digits, the TAC number is 112. 8 digits, if your ELT serial number is 8 digits, and the TAC number will be the 3 digits before the dash. Currently, the additional TAC numbers for the C, B, and G series ELTs are 170 and 210. For more information, you may follow the link below, costpass-sarset.int. Programming the C, B, and G series. From the home screen, select the following, Artex, program, ELT 9600 baud, and then select a protocol from the list to your right. If the ELT installation has an RTX nav interface, part number is 453-6500 or 453-6501, then the protocols with L are to be used. Protocols with S are used when no RTX nav interface is present. Note, serial number user, aircraft 24-bit address, national short is obsolete and should not be used. Aviation user, tail number short. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you'll be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial User Aircraft 24 bit address short. Tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address is 8 digits numbered 0 through 7 and hex address is six digits alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Cost by star set number. Input the three digit TAC number using the keyboard. Additional ELT, if the aircraft is equipped with one ELT, this number will remain at zero. If the aircraft has additional ELTs, such as in life rafts, this number can go between one and three. Tap Enter, and the 15-digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. User ELT Cost Pass Short. 
Tap to select the country code. Insert the five digit serial number using the keyboard. Insert cost pass starts the number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user aircraft operator short. Tap to select a country code. Insert three digit operator number using keyboard. Insert four digit serial number provided by the customer using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Aviation user, tail number, location, long. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard location, aircraft 24 bit address, long. Tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address is 8 digits, number 0 through 7, and hex address is 6 digits, alphanumeric, 0 through 9, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard location, ELT serial long. Tap to select a country code. Insert 5 digit serial number using keyboard. Insert cost pass star set number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. National location, ELT serial long. This protocol is only available with customers with an aircraft fleet. This is not the serial number of the ELT, but a customer provided serial number ranging from 0001 through 262143. Tap to select the country code. Insert serial number using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Testing the ELT using SARCALC. After successfully programming the ELT, verify programming by using SARCALC. Select the following. SARCALC, measure, on this screen connect a BNC to BNC or TPS to BNC cable from the ELT directly to the programmer. If your ELT only has one antenna output, you are to use the BNC to BNC out antenna output. If your ELT has two antenna ports, you will use the TPS to BNC cable. No attenuator is required. Initiate a self-test by placing the ELT local switch to the opposition for at least two seconds, but no more than 50 seconds. Then back to ARM. A report will be generated that will match the option you programmed. You can also access SARCALC from the home screen. Once accessed, you will have three options. Measure, which is the same steps we just defined. Review, which will allow you to review the previous 100 tests, and Preferences. You can change the amount of tests that are stored. You can also choose between either octal or hex address to be displayed when testing 24-bit address. Thank you for watching.